Why isn't Kathy Ramsberger uh, talking at this point? She's the president of DPAC. Under her term as president, that questions of excessive and duplicative costs and the squandering or uh, poor management of at least $10 million of the center's funds happened. I, th I think there's a bit of rush to judgment in your in your terms like squandering and so forth. Clearly, those are the issues that the board needs to look into. It's been said that the project is not feasible. Mm -hmm. Well, project's not feasible because the $130 million we were supposed to get mm -hmm. from Orange County evaporated. Not mm -hmm. their fault. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are now $120 million short which is why we asked uh, Orange County if they could mm -hmm. find some way to advance 30 million of that 120 that we're missing. Should DPAC's president have expertise in construction of Mayor Dyer, Mayor Jacobs? Even Jim Pugh has said that she does not. Well, that's true. Uh, Kathy had not had construction experience, but uh, clearly if, if Mayor Jacobs wishes to have more oversight, we are happy to comply. Uh, happy to comply in what way? If Mayor Jacobs would like some more oversight from the private sector, um, certainly we would welcome and have welcomed just in recent times uh, the participation of Orange County. Do you believe that Mayor Jacobs was wrong in going public with um, the complaints that were outlined in a couple of memos? produced by the county. I would never criticize uh, her actions. At the same time, some people connected with DPAC have said that she dropped a bomb on the Arts Center. We thought things were going well, um, and uh, we had hired a consultant that they asked us to hire. So we were, we were hoping for that collegial approach. Jim Pugh, a developer, has expertise on these issues that we're talking about here. But he signed the agreement with Heinz in September 2006 for that company to manage the project and represent DPAC's interests. And by most accounts, uh, Heinz has not done um, a good job in managing this project. Well, I think that's something we are all uh, eager to determine. I do think it's important, though, to remember that when that Heinz contract was signed, we were sort of living in a different era. We were living in a time when real estate was booming, when the project anticipated having private sector development all around it. Is there discussion about severing the relationship with Heinz and getting someone else to manage the project instead? Well, I think that's uh, yet to be determined. Was the contract given Heinz even bid out? Let me see. Um, can, can I defer? Can I get back to you on that? Uh, I. I'm not sure I was involved at that time. I might have been. At the very least, should something like that have been bid out? I feel certain that there were uh, mechanisms in place that dealt with uh, the question you're raising, but I can't respond uh, to that precisely. When does DPEC hope to break ground? Clearly, there are issues that need to be uh, worked out. Mayor Jacobs has indicated her willingness to uh, amend the interlocal agreement so that perhaps some of that money could flow more quickly to the project and we actually could get more than the nine million dollars we've gotten so far. What's the minimum uh, oversight that you believe Mayor Jacobs wants? In you? Oh, I expect we'll hear more about that from Mayor Jacobs. When it comes to public oversight, I think we're very willing to look to our elected officials to suggest what would be appropriate.